Kirk Franklin is my guest today and he's bringing a bit of gospel music that may enlighten us today because in a world of turmoil maybe he'll momentarily just drift us into another world for a few minutes with pop gospel music that has earned him a fabulous reputation within the music industry. If you're not familiar with him don't worry that's why we give you a bio. New York 19 time Grammy award winning producer imagine and I'm only discovering him songwriter and artist Kirk Franklin debuted this latest song we're going to hear Try Love. Try Love is the second single from Franklin's up and coming album Father's Day which will be released on October the 6th 23. Now we're into September so we're very near for that. The track is the follow up to the album's lead single All Things. Written and produced by Franklin, Try Love is a feel-good, mid-tempo anthem. The song makes listeners bob their heads while encouraging them to choose love and peace when facing life's challenges to exemplify God's everlasting love. The music video, which premiered recently on BET Gospel, BET Her and BET Soul, reinforces the theme of the song, showing people of different ages, which we you will about to see racist backgrounds reaching out to connecting with one another in addition to his new music franklin hosted the exodus music and arts festival in may in irving texas having co-headlined the wildly successful kingdom tour and maverick city music in 2022 he will embark on the reunion tour alongside the clark sisters israel hewton david and tamela Mann, and ty trivet on september the 28th this month. The one, the dating series that he and his wife Tammy Franklin co-host and co-executive produce is currently airing on TV One. I'm sorry for the dog in the background but it's a hot day and the window has to stay open. About Kirk Franklin. Kirk is a 19-time Grammy winning artist, songwriter, producer. For more than 30 years of countless hits and success at bridging gospel, R&B and hip hop and pop music together, Franklin continuously creates a sonic compass for every culture and creates a moment whenever he can to keep the message of the gospel moving forward. With epic collaborations with artists including Mariah Carey, Khalid, Lil Baby, Chance the Rapper, Kanye West, Justin Timberlake, Justin Bieber, Demi Lovito, Michael Jackson and Wastelift Leon, Frank's impact doesn't just stop at the charts. He works to promote the growth and development of young artists by a summer camp for aspiring artists and musicians called Camp Lotus. I must check that out actually and give you further information about that. He supports non-profit organizations including Compassion International and St. Jude's Children Research Hospital. Wow, that's a big concern St. Jude's here in their own right. Anyway, while Franklin is committed to helping the community, he's also about, uh, passionate about making sure that gospel music continues to reach new heights and larger audiences. Now, in March 23 of this year, Franklin made history by spending 100 weeks on the Billboard's Gospel Songwriters Chart, becoming the first to reach a 100-week milestone on any Billboard Songwriters Chart. In addition to his music, Franklin has his own channel, Kirk Franklin's praise on Sirius, or Sirius XM and has an executive produced several films and television projects including Kingdom Business on BET, Kirk Franklin's The Gospel Christmas and Kirk Franklin's The Night Before Christmas on Lifetime. So there you have it and as I said today's song is about choosing love and peace when facing life's challenges which we are all facing at the moment even me to exemplify God's everlasting love and remember the song is about showing people of different ages races backgrounds reaching out to connecting with one another and don't we need more of that let's take a listen I have the lyrics in front of me and we'll get through them quick enough Kirk Franklin, even though you've won many Grammys and, I, and I've just come across you, this is the excitement of 2023 in my channel. I'm discovering extraordinary artists like you, worthy to come on to CC Euro Pop Music and teach us what you are about and what messages you try to convey. And connection, love and peace, 
it's all what I have on my if you go to my main channel what I teach acceptance tolerance peace love they exemplify what I hope I'm bringing together with European music with artists like yourself that are unknown to many people but from today maybe they'll be in your heart I hope so take it away Kirk Franklin and try love What's up, man? Let me get that ginger lime joint. Cool. Let me ask you something, come here. You want me to play this for you, boy? Get 
Well, I didn't want it to skip and go into an ad, so I had to stop it there, unfortunately. And it is unfortunately, it was incredible. We need to try love in this world, we really do. We're hearing too much craziness in social media, too much parrot propaganda about bad things. And people are becoming more, have a morbid fascination for death and destruction. And the world is suffering all over from Turkey to France to America, wildfires, floods in Spain, everywhere. That to try love is what I think the message in this is a beautiful message to absorb and take in. Thank you, Kirk Franklin. And we do need to connect with people, we really do. I'm just going to the original to get the lyrics, because it's all life. It begins, this is your day, love. This is the day that you can get away. I've been waiting all day, love. I've been waiting on you. Waiting for your embrace, love. Hello, love. This is the day, love. Every prayer that I prayed, feelings I can't escape. Everywhere there's pain, just as I've mentioned. We've been missing you. And what he's talking to you in reference to this is missing you. It's just the love vibe, the connection, the reaching out, the touching, the sharing with a look. It doesn't have to be a body hug or physical interaction. It can be that look, that expression that says, hey, you're not on your own. Far too much has gone on today when you think of it with a lot of people who are just so absorbed with numero uno and they sit and they scroll and, they, and there's no connection. I do a simple thing, everybody. I go out for coffees with my dog who's crawling around my feet waiting for his walkie. And after I uploaded this, that's what I intend to do. I have to share the love with him. And my pet animal brings, because he's a Yorkshire Terrier, he's very cute, my dog almost breaks down a barrier of silence with so many people when I go for coffees. That's, I'm not a drinker, but I, I love to partake in conversation over a coffee with a stranger just to talk about something different and not look in the phone. But for most people, they're losing that social interaction, that connection, that basic skill of communication. And trying a bit of love, I bring it with the dog, believe it or not. The amount of people that smile and say, your dog is beautiful, thank you. And they thank me for having the dog at my feet, looking up at them, wagging its tail. It's quite funny that he sits and he waits for, in Dublin here, there's a, a Lewis line. Some people call it a metro line. And they go past and he just barks and he makes um, a fool of himself <laughs> because he's barking away and people walk past and they laugh at him because he's so minuscule in in dimensions and that face so he brings love to people he brings a smile and i'm delighted with that and then people fall into conversation with me nice dog blah 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 but you know as soon as i finish the conversation you've guessed it they're back on with their phones we need to try more just like the video just look up you know in the beginning of the video franklin makes the request put on the music and the words and the message he hopes resonates and it does and you see the jubilation it's the jubilation of breaking down a simple barrier that let's talk let's interact let's be as one just for a few minutes and those few minutes can be your salvation for the day everybody it's it saves my mental i always say and it keeps the stability and we all know that affects your physicality every day it really keeps the balance by bringing him out having those coffees interacting and just smiling with people we need to try more of that he continues see i admit i don't know much 
much about love the way it's supposed to be. I was born into a world so cold. How could I forget? Let's go. The many dark days, the times I felt betrayed by the ones that were supposed to love me. It's the only kind of love I've known, truth is. And that's the message in the people that let people down. I've been let down, just like you out there, many, many times. And I'm sorry for any outside interference and noises. It's just, I'm in the city centre here in Dublin, in Ireland, and I can't afford to close the window because it's so warm this time of year. One of the warmest September's ever in, uh, in 10 years, I believe. So it continues those dark days, he says. The dark days, isn't it extraordinary how many people, we all suffer on a daily basis, all of us. It doesn't have to be physical or mental. We just suffer with daily life, loneliness. We can feel abstract from people. We feel people don't have those communication skills to reach out and connect. And it's so simple to do. I do it with my pet animal, as I've just discussed. Other people can do it by looking for a community-based coffee and meats, for example. Or they could turn around and look for an art group to join or something creative and stop being creative. There is a creative streak in every single person on this earth that yearns to get out. We're multifaceted, multi-skilled, all of us, but we never know which skill suits us. And if you have to go through many courses and drop them to go to another course, keep doing it until karma comes around to say, hey, this is the one for you. I. I'm over 50 and I want to take up tennis again to get physically fit. And I've had people look at me as so, though, and I'm flat footed, and they always say flat footed people don't um, succeed in even achieving fitness levels in tennis. Well, I'm out to prove them wrong. I want to spread the love by playing tennis and love 15, love 20. Oh, I have it all ringing in my head. I'm, I'm eager to get going. Find that peace of mind. Bring back something into your life that you once had to take away those dark days that will enrich you and fill that void. That's my advice to you. It continues, that's the reason what what's love born to die. It's so hard to believe you don't throw us away. So maybe I'll take a chance and try love. Yeah, don't say goodbye. And he's saying don't say goodbye to love. Don't close the door on communication. We've seen it in the video with the blonde girl just looking and just that look of recognition and a, and a wee smile. As much to say thank you for just noticing. And then they reach out across the table and connect. And that's why I did the, I tried to highlight the love heart that a lot of people do at concerts, a lot of people, it's a symbolic of love. It's just, it's such a wonderful feeling when we connect. And there's so many ways I can think of so many voluntary organizations that are crying out for people to be part of a team, to make the world a better place. And we can do that, all of us. A few hours a week, come on, we can do it. So he says, don't say goodbye. So don't close the door to love. Don't close the door to opportunity, connection and communication. Let's try love. Because love comes in when you smile, when you are feeling fulfilled, when you are like those people in the video, jumping for joy. It says, this is your day, love. And he talks in reference to the love, the love of people, the love of, pe you know, it, you don't have to be a certain persuasion or color. Just accept, accept your circumstances, your environment, your people, and you're halfway there. And he says, this is your day, love. This, could, this is the day that you can't get away. In other words, this is the day that you're, you're needing it, you're wanting it, you're desiring it, and it's coming towards you like a hurricane and there's no stopping it and when that happens it's the most beautiful feeling in the world just sit back relish every minute of it so waiting for your embrace this is the day love every prayer i prayed and we all pray for better days we all pray for a good day there's a lot of us that pray for extra money extra food on the table extra friends of support but what people are saying to me is their friends are strained so there's not that comradeship, but there is. There's lots of groups out there. I'm telling you the best way to find love in your life is to join a voluntary organization full of people, 
full of similar needs, similar ones, to do something, to be part of a jigsaw puzzle, to make life more complete, to fill, to fill that loneliness, that void, that dark cloud that we talked about before. She continues, see, I admit today's kind of love ain't the same kind of love. It never is. Every day is different. And this one leaves you feeling empty. Ha, you can keep that love. I don't want to be let down. Nobody wants to be let down, but it's part of life. And we need to accept that as well, the good with the bad. It's part of Christian teaching, isn't it? And then it says, I've been around the world. And that came on. And I went, oh, because I was thinking, and I diverted during the video to find out who sang that. And then it came to me. Lisa Stansfield, being around the world. And I, I, do, 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 do. Now, I can't sing it. And I don't know the lyrics too well. But Lisa Stansfield, I grew up with. And she was a woman who was a TV presenter initially before she had that big hit. And she came over to Ireland to live just outside Dublin here in Hoth for a while. And then I believe she sold her home and went back to England. But that came up and that was just, wow, because it's the first time I've heard this. So anyway, it said, no greater love of sacrifice, love on the cross, you paid the price. We all do. We all feel like we've been nailed to the cross. We've shared that crown of thorns. But to take that away and to take those nails away and climb down from that cross is about self-belief. And it starts with loving yourself. It's simple as that. I look myself, every, my partner will tell you how much I brush the hair, make myself presentable. First thing in the morning, people are still in pajamas. I'm in, I'm in the shower, I'm getting ready. I'm putting the clone on, I'm putting the creams on the face. I'm making sure I'm presentable. So if there's a, a call to the door, if I have to go down and meet the postman, if somebody sees me, they see me in a positive way. And that makes me feel good. And I do it for me, not for vanity's sake, trust me. And then it says, this is your day, love. This is the day you can't get away. I've been waiting all day, love, waiting for your embrace. So it continues that. And then he continues, if I can get it right yesterday, and this is an important message. No, if I didn't get it right yesterday, you're giving me a chance to try love again. You get a chance every, every day. And I've said it during this, the most important thing to do is start loving yourself. When you embrace yourself, like me getting ready in the morning, I embrace myself and say, this is who I am. This is the image I want to portray. This is the positive side to me. Even if I don't feel positive, people are going to look and say, always neatly presented, always looking positive. It's a great way to be because people respond to that. With the, You've seen the blonde girl just looking over in the video with that smile, with that look. I get similar looks from all people around me and always saying you always look coordinated and well because it's part of my persona now it's part of not clothing myself hiding the real me I have nothing to hide it's not anymore it's all out there check my videos for that many stories but it's just being positive about starting the day well and so it continues, that's not the way it has to end. See, it isn't. You don't have to have that dark cloud over you. It's not the way to end your day. Every day, you should begin your day. I don't need to say I love myself. I do what my routine, and I look in the mirror, and I think you look well. And I'm saying it to myself without actually coming out saying, I love you. But you must learn to love yourself from the beginning of the day to the end, regardless of what's in between. And then it says, that's not the way to end. It's true. So I've learned love's not the enemy. It's not. But I had to look deep down within me too. For God so loved the world. Now let's get real. Let love begin. Come on. So he's encouraging everybody to dance, to connect, to take away any prejudice you, you, you have because of what's happened in the past and just break down them barriers and move forward with life. That is what this song is about. It's a Christian message we all need to hear. Learn to love yourself, everybody, as much as I've learned to learn Kirk Franklin today, and try a bit of love, not for anybody else, but for yourself. Take care.